Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel, Scrap and Rabbit. This is Christine, and I'm here today with another journal. And this one doesn't have a particular theme to it. I made it into um, something that could be used as an art journal. So I've got a variety of pages in here. I've got some tea dyed. I've got some mixed media paper. Uh, so that's considerably thicker. That way you could uh, paint or draw on it. And all of the pages are pretty much left blank because whoever gets this can decide how they want to embellish their art journal. I've also got some tea dye papers in there, of course, and I've got some pages that I put a watercolor stain on so they come in different colors. This journal, I made it with a, a book that I repurposed from a thrift shop, the covers, the outside covers, and it measures about five and a half inches wide by eight and a half inches high and it's about an inch and a half thick. I've got an elastic closure and I attach these little beads on the ends and then I've got a thick cotton fabric. It's almost like upholstery fabric. And when I cut it, I frayed the edges a little bit to give it sort of a bohemian look. And you can see I've got four signatures inside. On the spine, I've got a removable chain and there are some beads and a little windmill charm on there. The beads were from jewelry pieces that I had and I repurposed them. And here's a nice little pendant on the end, a little button that holds the elastic closure, and the back is just plain with this pretty paper. On the edges, I've got some little charms dangling from some ribbon tabs, and I use these little gourd clips, so these are removable if you want. I've got a little heart key, a cactus, wings of a dove and this looks like a little moth. It looked like a butterfly at first but now that I look at it I think it's a moth. So let's look inside. Now like I said I didn't do any embellishing in here because it's whoever gets this can uh, can embellish how they see fit. It's an art journal so they should use their own style to uh, to fill it. So here's the first signature. Again, the inside cover is just plain, so you could always attach um, an envelope or a pocket on there. Here's a pocket. I stitched the edges. And here's some of that watercolor paper I mentioned. So I've got different shades. And I didn't make it too dark so that the pages can still be written on and be legible. And here's some thicker mixed media paper. It's, it's like a card stock. And then I've got some tea dyed paper in here. This was from a pretty greeting card that I had and I like the image so I added that in there. And here's some more of the watercolor paper. And this envelope is just plain. You can journal on that. You can add something to cover it. And here's um, a page that has a piece of designer scrapbook paper on. So there's tons of room for journaling, for doodling, or, or whatnot. And here's some more mixed media pages. I'm not sure how many pages there are in it. There's quite a few. I've got four signatures. And here's a pocket on the side. And again, I stitched around the pocket. And some more watercolor pages and mixed media. So basically all of the signatures are pretty much constructed the same and they've got pretty much the same types of, of paper. This one I like, it's sort of wrinkly actually. It's very wrinkly. You could attach something over that. But I like the, uh, the look of it, the texture, so I figured I'll include it in the journal anyways. There's another 
page with a scrapbook paper on there and some more tea dyed stuff. Mixed media. And I like this paper. It almost looks like splashes of paint, so I thought it would be very appropriate for an art journal. I'm just going to go through the rest quickly. I love this picture of fish again that looks like it was hand painted, but it's from a greeting card. Another envelope. And then again, I stitched around the pockets so they. They stay put. Now this is um, different paper. This is cardstock that I tea stained the same way as I tea stained my regular paper. So it comes out really nice and nice and thick. I like this texture of it. So I decided to include that. And this is the last signature. And there's the back. The back is also left plain, so you could attach something there if you wanted to. So I will include a link to my Etsy shop if anybody's interested. Have a nice day and happy crafting. Bye.